Hello, all trans furries in my computer. Today, I was wondering what if Pokemon was good, and that's when I came across Cassette Beast when the trans furries in my computer recommended it to me. So, today, we're playing Cassette Beast. And I'll give some rambly, unscripted thoughts along the way. Imagine if Kepi had the low taper fade. I just wanted to make the joke with the good mic. No. Banger? Hi. You turn into the Pokemon. Okay, I can see why all the, the entire, I can see why the entire, uh, uh, the entire Martlet Cord recommended this video game. Okay, let's go into the first topic of this game, which is the big other kid message. This stream is an other kid friendly space, even though I don't want to be an animal, but I really enjoyed this message that the game does for all of my other kin friends. It's a message that a AAA game would never tackle and could only be found in like a small indie game like this. And that's why I really enjoy this game for having the balls to ha tell this message. For me personally, I am fiction kin of Kara Undertale, but I don't really take it that seriously. Like I understand I'm still myself and have to live my life but at the same time, I feel that I am Kara, you know? I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels deeper than a simple I relate to this character on an emotional level way. Most of the time, I just try to not give it much attention and just live my life as myself. I am me. So the message really hit home for me, but I'm guessing not as much as it would for other people that I know. Dang it, I cannot add a stripe. Give me- Oh wait, yes I can. Oh hell yeah! Okay, so that's fake out. <laughs> they hit us with the, uh, the- The overheat at- I feel like the fucking Cuphead guy, dude. What am I doing wrong? Oh wait, I I'm fucking dumb. There we go. I forgot we can jump. Oh, he's stalling us out! Banger? I think you just need to go wall every in every battle. Like, that's the meta! Let's talk about the battle gameplay because, yeah, it kind of is the meta. This game does a lot of things very different from Pokemon, and I like that a lot for it because it makes Pokemon's gameplay good without, like, the stupid gimmicks. However, in doing so, it also made the game heavily stall-based, like, you need to set up as many walls as possible. And while that allows for a bunch of different strategies, more so than Pokemon, I feel, I do think that it causes the game's battles to take longer, to the point where I would avoid the random encounters on purpose, because I just didn't want to take a minute or two to fight every single enemy around. Still though, when this game gets a multiplayer update, which should be coming out soon after this video launches, then I think it, that part of the game will be more fun than Pokemon. The amount of strategy that just the sticker system has is amazing. Speaking of which, let's talk about the sticker system. Basically, moves you can are stickers that you can like peel off and put on to different Beasts, and the beasts are compatible with a lot of different stickers, although they aren't compatible with every single one, but it makes it so you can freely customize any creature. And I think that's sick as hell. It allows for a ton of gameplay variety. Come back! I don't want to be with Mr. Fucking... 
TikTok e-boy over here. Come back. Well, in a manner of speaking, I'd say they're worse than vampires. They're estate agents. Yes. It, the fucking, it's just real estate agents. That's hilarious. All right, stand on that one. Kaylee, Kaylee, stand on the thing. Kaylee. Oh. Dumbass, you critical fail, idiot. Didn't used to be that weird, but the uh, leader, Dorian is obsessed with archangels. Archangels. Morningtown just became the sound of the kind of helping everyone, but it seemed just to be given about what he wanted. I ran away from home, and that's how I ended up in home. What? Zoomies? Bro, has got the zoomies? Wait, we have healing spells now? Yeah, he's stall. What the fuck is that? The art style for this game is great, don't get me wrong, I love the pixel art and everything, it's amazing. However, I do think the creature designs leave a lot to be desired. Don't get me wrong, they're good, but there's just something about them that don't have the same charm as the Pokemon in Pokemon. For games in the creature collecting genre like Pokemon and Cassette Beast, I think a big draw selling point for them has to be the charm of the creatures themselves, so when none of the creatures really stick in your brain as much as the Pokemon do, I don't think this game really hits that mark as well as Pokemon. I hate Wonderful 7. Oh, ouch. 31%, let's go! I'm just that good at gaming! Is that the guy from that one game? We got him! Bulletino dash ability? Clover, true! Yes. Azrael, true! <laughs> oh wait, you might have a second one. Shit, I should have gone for a stronger attack. Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna stall me! I, I saw you jump on top of this tree. How do, how do you get up there? Can I get up there? I was on the rocky part. Maybe we have clients in the audience. Is that your mom? Who is she? My replacement, Koopy. Dorian will now speak. What a great crowd you always are. Listen guys, more children or whatever, you did it such a great job with the digging. I mean, this is the prime of quality hole. This pit is as deep as your devotion to the cause. It's like a metaphor. When I first heard the whispers in my head guiding me beneath the earth, I knew I couldn't do this alone. And sure, we've had ups and downs, but we've done it. The serpent god awaits us, baby! Ho! He goes nothing. Oh great Archangel, I've healed your car and traveled to your abode. You did not take, you do not take from me. You only give. I told him this would happen. Oh, he's fucking dead. What the fuck? Oh, this is some, oh no. This is some Breath of the Wild bullshit. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, this game's janky as fuck, but I love it for that. Why does he look like that? N nerd? Fucking dumbass? This song goes crazy. Is this soundtrack on Spotify, by the way? I woke up in the metal world the first night. I have nothing but my name on my lips and my question in my heart. I have no other memory creator. No. Stop it. Uh-uh. 
I'm just a forgotten thought, aren't I, creator? An idea you had fun with once before being discarded. By shining powers of earth, water, fire, and air, my true potential is revealed. What? What? Yo? She united the four elements. She was an archangel the whole time? What? I'm not ready for this! I need to heal! This I know I realize why I like the song so much. It's literally just a Twewy song. Like it's a song from The World Ends With You. Honestly, the music was my favorite part of this game. The soundtrack is all bangers. It's just banger after banger after banger. I love it. And it's got this big The World Ends With You vibe. And if you didn't know, the World Ends With You is one of my favorite games of all time, so I really appreciated the music style that this game went for. It was just amazing, and I rocked out to every single song. All of them are on my Spotify now. I also really like how the music only got vocals when you fused. I think that really added a sense of hype to the fights, especially the fights against the Archangels. Because my personal favorite song in the game, Same Old Story, is the song that plays during those fights, and the only reason I'm not playing it with lyrics right now is because I hate you and I want you to focus on my voice. Anyway, yeah, music, all bangers. I love it. Oh wait, shit, that gives you Energize! Like, this song is just a song from The World Ends With You. All oh, actors so are horn formed from human expression. Archangels, then, are from shared experience that more humans are not. Comes with, like, rebellion, capitalism, zeatry, and conquest form powerful archangels. Although some monsters like, ascend to archangels. Oh, so she just becomes Goku. This song is, I was saying earlier, this song is just a song from The World Ends With You, which is my second favorite video game of all time, after Undertale. Quieter friend, here, my power is gifted to you. What? What? <laughs> we got an Archangel on our team? That song goes crazy. Oh, light motifs. The song's so good. My favorite song. This song's so good. I love the world ends with me. A cool mini dungeon. We visit it at way too high a level, which is the problem with o with open world Pokemon. We visit it at way too high a level, and sometimes that just happens, and you get fucked. And you say, and if you do things out of order, you just the latter parts of the game aren't as fun. And I had the same problem with Scarlet and Violet that. The latter half of the game just isn't fun because you w I went and did the harder parts earlier. Oh, I went the wrong way. You can call me Al. Uh... He sure is polite. I've been preoccupied for some time by an old friend. Fortunately, that situation has been resolved now, and I find out this world has gathered more of my people, more archangels. These are exciting times indeed, friends. These newcomers are wild and unfocused, but I see much potential in them. So I must ask you don't attempt to interfere in my team building exercise. I must request that... Oh. Oh, you just want to leave? Yes, I can send you away from here. The only thing I can't work is me. A mirror doesn't reflect itself. So be it. So be it. Please I can't come too much. Back. Really? 
I mean it. Bye! Are we home? What the fuck happened to our town? The Umbrid Lodge doesn't have to see these dead words often. Please, make yourself at home. He did not send me home. A simpler time. Well... He and I were like family once back in the good old days. There's a whole gang of us. We had some mighty fine times together. Elif was like the leader. I mean, of course he was. That's his whole stick, ain't it? But me, I was the rider, and Morgante was the keeper of the door. But sometimes folks just grow apart. Sometimes it gets messy at the end, mm. so we left all that behind. I'm sure Aleph's still trying to find his ticket off that island even now. No way the old witch will tell him how, of course. <laughs> Hello! Banger? <laughs> Gay? The game lets me be homosexual. Priscilla could never. I. I think now would be a good time. Fade to black. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, pussy ass game. Pussy. They, they, they're just afraid of showing women kissing. Little pussy bitch. That being said, this game does have every character be bisexual and polyromantic. So I think that's really neat. There's no like consequences for romancing multiple people. And of course, gay people. Persona could never. Kasepi's relationship mechanic is heavily inspired by personas, like just by battling with your partners you will rank them up and then by resting you'll get like your, your social link events. The characters are alright, none of them are terrible, but none of them really hit the same as most of the persona characters aside from Kaylee because she's the best character in the game. Maybe if I spent more time with the others, my opinion would change, but as of right now, I think they're all alright characters, but they aren't incredible characters. That being said, none of them are terrible characters either, so it's a solid cast. And Kaylee, because we love her. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! Show it! Pussy, you won't. It's, oh my fucking God, really? I discovered this book among the remains of the ship. A curious read. Uh. She's from Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Everyone comes from different universes. She's like can of coke. She's like Mad Mew Mew. One of these times it's gonna it's gotta hit. Uh, back to sleep. Oh, miss! Nerd! Fucking bitch! Get fucked, idiot! Damn it, he's not dead. Okay. I am using a walkthrough because I hate open world games where they don't point you somewhere. Like, the reason the only open world games I like are Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are because the game tells you, hey, go to these places, and uh, as I was saying, they point you to where you need to go, and then you can just explore things on the way there. Like, you can see, oh, there's a shrine there, I'm gonna go out of my way to go do it, oh, or oh, there's a thingy there. The game doesn't say, alright, here's the open world, good luck. I don't think I could have put it better myself in post. That is my big problem with open world games that really only Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have managed to fix. This guy hates, give him a few years. Give him a few years. Uh, I'm actually gonna 
rename that Mewtwo to Kanako. Because I know it's a cat, but Kuniko, Kanako, I, 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 I can't think of Kuniko without thinking of Kanako. It's got the little Kara cheeks. Look, I love him. I'm not going to use him in my party, though, because we already have a grass type. Clue one, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Oh my god! Fuck you! You're not funny! Hi, I thought you might. Truth be told, I don't think I saw you in that way until we fused. For a start, I've only had a few short relationships, and they were all with boys too. It may sound a wee bit silly, but when we fuse, it's like I feel your soul, and I, then maybe I know you in a way that I don't even know myself. I don't even know if I have a word to describe it. Aww. <laughs> and you, she's a budding musician. We should celebrate. Aww. Gay, I love gay people. My uncle and I had something of an arrangement with you lot. A special relationship. Do you even know it? I have a lot of respect for you humans. Without you, we wouldn't exist. Yes. You humans love your little worlds and you invent all these cute ideas. Love, death, whatever. Your most powerful thoughts bring us to life. And in return, we've traveled to your world to act out whatever fantasies you concocted for us. Oh, so they're all fictional. I get it. All of them are fictional characters. Adventures, wars, extinction events. You people love that stuff the most and so do I. Unfortunately, my old band got a tad dysfunctional and had to split, so I've been out of the scene for a little while. Back in action. Idiot! Dumbass! Right, I've had enough. Everyone get back on the train. We're leaving. Oh. All aboard! Our next destination is anywhere we want. Hey! Quick! Kaylee! <laughs> she got left behind! I've seen these lights before. Hmm. You know, I thought I understood everything about the cosmos, but your fusion trick is something I've never seen before. Perhaps. Perhaps it would make for a good team building exercise. Okay, cool. Uh, first we're gonna sharpen and wall up. Banger, by the way. Can I not fuse with the rest of you? I thought I thought I would be fusing with the rest of my friends. I thought that was the bit. I thought that was the the, the thing that we'd be doing. Okay. No, nah, it's just me and Kaylee. No more cassettes. No more cassettes. Oh shit. Car. You are not beasts. You are merely human. No? Haven't you ever heard of other kin, bitch? At this moment, we have a shared goal. Aleph is the incarnation of conquest, and I am the incarnation of rebellion. Persona 5? So I need you to understand. Yeah. You humans create us with dreams and ideals. The potential energy of mankind is limitless. These cassettes are merely talismans. The, the ability to manifest your will into reality to change your world. Wake up already! Because that's what people do. Right. A shared goal. That's all it takes. A hot combine. Okay, now we're doing it. Let's kick his bloody uh, head in. Oh, uh, here goes nothing. I should have put Conico on Felix.
Oh, they're letting him go first. Oh, how kind of the game, even though I outspeed him. Oh, how cute. They're letting him go first. It ain't about sign, it's about intent. You gotta picture the word you wanna go to in your mind's eye and step forward without any lingering buys. So I advise you all start saying goodbyes, cause it's a one way trip. Thumbs the break, Red. New world's an anomaly and nothing more. You folks are only here by chance. Getting back in on the cards. No, girlfriend. Is it actually gonna end with us going back? No way it actually ends with the found f family splitting up. I... No! When you said it was perso like Persona 5, no, dog. One time! I'm asking for one goddamn game where the found family doesn't split up at the end. One goddamn game. I love you. No, dog, no. What the fuck is this? Wait! So going back means you have to be what you turned into. What what you were before. This game sucks then. Because it just forces you to become who you used to be. It untransfers you. Okay, but apparently not actually. According to what my friend told me, Apparently, when you go back through the mirror at the end of the game, it kind of just brings you to your ideal world because it tells you, think of where you want to go, not just go home. So, really, it doesn't untransfer you, it just takes you to your ideal world. That's a great message, but I do wish the game was more explicit with it and like showed the ideal world. Like, for example, I think it would be really cool if you just went through the mirror and you ended up back on New World because that was already your ideal world and your ideal self. I think that would be really cool. Dumbass! Miss! <laughs> that was the funniest way it could have. It's not that funny. And that was Cassette Beast. Honestly, I'd argue that I've had more fun with it than any modern Pokemon game. Of course, it'll never replace Pokemon, but it is a great alternative and a great game that can stand on its own. I loved it. It's a solid 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and... Huh? Wait, what's happening to me? Kara Undertale.